anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a pipe too much bomb. to be done on this pipe mic bomb. that I ain't doing ready. Pipe bombs, pipe bombs, pipe bombs. In anybody else's hands. Another 8-4 here today. And uh, I suggest that if you look at the prize payout, that 8 fours actually make the most sense. Now this pack is insane. It's got one removal, two removal, three removal, you know, like uh, essentially four removal cards, muzzle and guard, but obviously the best card is Instigator Gang. Although, I think that the, the blue enchantment rare thingy, that card could be really fun in a lot of decks. Now, I'm kind of banking on right now. I'm, I'm I really have no strategy. There's not a single red card in this pack that I want to take. So it's not like I'd be cutting red off from anybody. So I'm just gonna go with best card on the table and see how that works. I'm just gonna take the best card every time. And here, the best card is a uh, victim of night. I mean, that's that's obvious. I mean, the priest isn't bad, but when it comes down to it, what kills what? Priest, I mean, victim of night kills priest, so... And the priest can't tap down the one creature I have, so... That's my train of thought going into this draft. Uh, my phone's ringing, but I refuse to pick it up. Now there's, wow, two of the best blue cards in draft are sitting here. Why? I don't know. I have to take one. Even though there's a lot of red here that I like. But it just doesn't make sense to let it all go. And you have to make the choice of what's better, Stitch Drake or the Mauler. And I'm going to go with Stitch Drake. A lot of people consider that pack one pick. This pack is uh, weak. It has one of my favorite cards, and Mask of Avis. Whatever. But the Morkit with certain cards like Prey Upon or Victim of Night, for example, uh, can be rather good when played together. But it seems like red and black are open. I need a red card. I like this a little better than Crossway Vampires. A little more defensive. Because I really don't know where this deck is going. Right now I have a collection of cards. Two of which are shiny, which made me happy. Then I remembered they're not in the same color. That made me sad. Now I have a choice here. And I'm going to go with the Ghoul Razor, because Ghoul Razor has multiple... Oh, now I have a choice to make. Do I go into red, or do I go into blue? Or do I just cut off red completely, and let someone else take blue? Uh, uh, this is a hard choice, but I don't have enough creatures now to really be discarding shit. That's the issue that I run into. I mean, they gave blue an elf, which is always nice. So, I had to go with the blue elf, because obviously someone's got a makeshift mauler. I didn't think this would come around the table, so I'm actually very happy about that. But notice one thing, no white, very little white, very little green. What do you think I'm going up against? Let's be honest here. And if I'm going to be going up against that... Oh god, more of the Mire would be great. But if I'm going to be going up against white-green, I better get... I better start taking the Moon Mists off the table. Along with the Moon Mists, uh... Well, Riot Devils is a fairly solid card. Um... It's boring. But it does what it's supposed to do. It's a 2-3. It can kill a village ironsmith and a doom traveler. So, And an, an elf, uh, a selfish Cathar. I mean, wow, it's red and black wide open. Uh, let me take the red, because I need creatures, and I need cards for a deck. Blood Craze Neonate, which I hate, but hey, why not? And Ghoul Caller's Chan, I mean... You know, that that card works even if you're not playing zombies, you know? So I'm going to hide the blue stuff for now. As long as I don't open, like... You know, as long as I don't get past, like, every great blue card ever made in Innistrad. Um, Alright. I mean, there's a good blue card there, and I'm passing a Caravan Vigil and an Avacyn's Priest. And a 
pitch burn devils, but the obvious, obvious pick is Blasphemous Act. In draft, this card is as good as Black Sun Xena. Um, all right, now I can start working on a little zombie type action. Got myself a rakish air to go along with my blood craze neonate, except now I'm gonna need some fucking zombies. Um, oh, lots of white going by. No black. This is like the good white pack, and for the guy who's playing the blue with the makeshift mauler, something for him too, but I'm just going to take the bonds of faith out of the game. No need to deal with it. It's not like I'm going to be losing out on anything, because there's really nothing here that I want. And I have absolutely no problem with hate drafting early in a draft. You want? I actually encourage you. I want you to hate draft early. Just piss off the person next to you. And then tell him, after you beat him, that you hate drafted his colors. Do it. It's fun. It's actually hilarious. My idea of a good time. Uh, ooh, wow. Lots of white going by. Darn. But, I mean, three mana for a potential turn four, five, five. I have no problems with that. Let me hide that right devil not really in the mood to uh play with that card i don't think i'm gonna get to use more kid banshee unless uh, people start passing me some brimstone volleys um okay so right now i have half a deck uh oh god this is gonna be one of those isn't it all right falconrath noble fantastic granted some more good blue has just passed me by, but not nearly as good as Falcon Wrath Noble. And it's a vampire, so it fits into my rakish. Oh, I could take another Victim of Night or another Tribute to Hunger. Victim of Night just smells better. It's a better smelling card. Although, I'm not a huge fan of the double black. I like that it's got the ability to take out a creature I like instead of a creature my opponent likes. Although there's always ways around that. Wow, that's a very late caravan vigil. I'm very tempted to just switch into green white right now. Just do it. Switch into green white. You know you want. You already have a bonds of faith. You could build the deck around that. I should hate draft right here. That trepanation blade is one of my favorite cards, but I'd like some vampire action. So I guess I'll go with the vampire. Although Alter's Reap does seem like the nicer. I don't know. I don't have enough creatures, to be honest. Uh, wow. I've been seeing this card go so late in drafts. The uh, 7 mana. It's 7 mana for an 8-8 eight eight with Trample. And when it dies, you get 2 creatures back from your graveyard. And people just pass it around like it's, you know, Kim Kardashian. So, I I just, I don't get that. Does anyone else understand that? I'll pick up the 5-1 zombie. Although, I, one day, one day I will build a deck with four bump in the nights. And that will be my win condition. A whole bunch of blockers and four bump in the nights. That's uh, 24 points of damage. So as long as he isn't running no out of the bone, I'm set. Maybe the zombie is better than the vampire, but, you know, let's let's keep the theme going here. Uh, if I have a theme in my zombie vampire deck, which I guess I will call from here on in my wham, wham pot, no. Uh, oh, okay, this card is cool. Use that with a blood craze neonate and see what your opponent has to say. It'll be funny. Hate draft. Yeah. Brain weevil. Instant morbid. Love it. And your opponent discards, which, you know, you play a lot of. When people play green and white nowadays, they're playing with 16 mana. You'll notice this a lot. So. You know, a lot of the times, they, a lot of times they just get mana screwed. 
to be honest. And if you can, you know, make them start discarding cards that they need really badly, or just, you know, green-white decks are built on getting as much crap as you can and hoping it sticks to the wall. Um, ooh, this is a good pack for me and for pretty much everyone else. But that Skurz deck, if you've been playing Innistrad Block Constructed lately, you've been running to black-white token deck. Uh, and Skurz deck, High Priest, has been giving me a lot of issues. Wow, that's... this is an interesting pack. That card is very... oh, I love Vampire Interloper. And I love Rebuke. And I love Gutter Grime. But I gotta take Moan and the Unhallowed, which I think in a recent draft I called Endless Ranks of the Dead. Same shit. Um, I think I... Uh, so... Oh, uh, sorry. Text message. Text messaging the girl I'm talking to right now. Wow, makeshift mauler. That's comparatively late for that card. But there's a harvest fire. Uh, okay. So what's here? Crap! 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 There's a pile of crap. Oh look, it's a pile of crap. I actually like Fear of the Bitten. When, when you're playing this, basically I just like putting on Blood Craze and Neonate. That's the only reason it exists in my life. I could put Cobble the Wings on my- Do you know what? I should just make a Blood Craze Neonate deck. Nothing but Blood Craze Neonates. <laughs> basically, as long as they want to have a Geist Flame, Brimstone Volley, a 1-1 one -one creature, anything. I'll be able to win every single game. Yeah, that strategy isn't exactly fantastic. As you can see here, I'm, I'm just doing... Ooh, that's a really late Screeching Bat. I'm really happy that's there. Although the shiny card is kind of calling to me. I really gotta stop liking things that are shiny. And I took that Geist, the 3-3 the thing. I've never played with that card before. But I figured, you know... It beats me all the time, so if I take it, then I'll be able to beat me. That's good. Traitorous Blood, I'm taking this for a specific reason. Oh, I was going to say, the reason that I only play A4s is because if you look at the prize payouts for other tournaments, the other ones, Swiss and whatnot, really, like, Swiss guarantees that you at least one pack. But 4322 is like the worst payout on the planet. It's like if you get to the finals, you still technically don't like win anything. It's like, you know, you're not getting back the money that you put in. And if you get to the finals of a 8 4, chances are, ooh, my favorite discard spell. Useful against pretty much every deck that you'll go up against. Unless they have something like a Gavinry Township. Ancient Grudge will be useful, especially since I passed a few um, really annoying um, cards earlier, like Trepanation Blade, Invisible Stalker, and Butcher's Cleaver. Yeah, those cards. Well, this deck isn't looking too bad, and by that I mean... Uh, no, but the, the eight fours, you know, normally you'll get someone to split at the end. So you'll win six packs, and you guys will just figure out which one will get the QP. And, um, you know, the six packs is a nice payout compared to, you know, what you could potentially get. Because, I mean, see here, I even drafted a card that's worth more than, like, 50 cents. You know? And that sucks. But it's what I'm stuck with. So, you know, I, I got to kind of play the 8-4s almost to make my money back. Otherwise, other than for fun, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, I'm not, you know, technically I didn't really win anything. Okay, so, screeching bat. Oh, let's, let's check. The discard spell goes last. Uh, ghoul razor. I don't have enough zombies. If I maybe got some late abattoir ghouls, that would have been nice. Rotting fence snake really doesn't work. For me, at least. I could give it first strike, potentially, but, uh, and I don't, you know, I want to use my morbid, my skirdag priest. So I, you know, really have no use for Morkit Banshee, since it really doesn't work with Blood Craze Neonate. Although, really, Blood Craze Neonate is the perfect creature for Morbids. It's going to die to anything. Vampiric Fury could be a really interesting card. That card's good. That card's uh, It's okay. That card's good. That card's... Eh, it's okay. That card's good. That card's good. Eh, I'm not a huge fan. That I like. That I like. Oh yeah, definitely putting Blast Attack. And giving creatures first strike is never, ever underrated. I I love first strike. Especially in this format, except for that one stupid card. The one that's in my deck. The, was it, a Feral Ridge Wolf or something? I don't know what the fuck that name is. Uh, that thing. Whatever the shiny thing is, it just passed by. But, um... You know, it... First strike is important because there's so many two toughness, three toughness things you gotta kill off. And you know, I have very limited flying capabilities. So if I can, you know, not have to deal with this, if I could use my one or two flyers to uh, give them first strike and allow them to, you know, get to work, that's good. I gotta make sure I have a shitload of creatures, though. Because really what I want to do with this deck is use my early creatures to, you know, do their work. And then Blasphemous Act and then come out with just a smattering of creatures. And let's see what this does because I'm a badass.